All right, in this video, we're gonna take a look at Midjourney, uh, in particular, the V7 model and looking at personalization. Now, the way that uh, Midjourney suggests using personalization, either V7 or 6.1, actually, let's take a look at the screen here. So it says, teach Midjourney about what you find beautiful, which is a cool way to build your style, right? A way that you, what you see beauty in the world based on these pictures and you go through 200 pictures to build a style. but Here's how I've been using it, and it's a bit of a hack, and it's a really cool way to to build looks based on different vibes, different styles, different stuff that you're into, and use that as personalization. And I'm going to build a couple of them, and then I'll show you based on prompts how each one looks differently. So I won't go through all of them because there's 200 images, but let me just we'll just start one. So so we'll come over here to create a rank profile, and you can see I have my my global one. This is like my quote unquote pretty one. Then this is sticky weird that I made last week, which is, as you can kind of see, like some, these are some of the creations with my sticky weird, you know, in the prompt, I obviously asked for this type of stuff, but these muted tones, this kind of reflective dark look, I train the model to get that style of look. Anyways, let's go back into personalization. We want to go to this create ranked profile. So we'll go inside here. And now this process does take a while because you're going to be skipping a lot. Now, when you're building the beauty one, they, you typically don't want to skip. You just be like, whatever one looks more beautiful to you. And then it creates it based on what you like, based on all these, these 200 different images. But for this, I'm going to skip. So I'm going to hit three. I'm kind of going for like a 3D animated but dark. And I'm going to see if I can find it. So pretty vague, but you'll see if I can find an image here. So I'm going to skip this one, skip this one. All right. Just to get it going, I'm going to, I'm going to click this one. Even though it's not weird, it is this 3D kind of fill I'm going for. So I'm going to click this guy. And it's going to be a combo of like weird stuff and 3D stuff. <laughs> kind of be the combo here. But I don't want too bright. I kind of want that muted look. So... Like something like this, maybe. Okay, so this is pretty dark and weird in 3D. So I'm going to click this guy. This is dark. Even though it's a 2D image, at least it's dark. So I'm going to click him. Definitely dark here. Click that. Oh, yeah, perfect. This is 3D and dark. Skip those. Skip those. So you kind of see what I'm going for here, right? Hopefully that does make sense. Yeah, this one's cool. Yeah, like this one, obviously super dark. This one's super dark. I'm going to choose that. Uh, so I'm just going to do dark 3D. It's basically this, this profile I'm going to build. Pretty dark. All right, so I'm going to speed all this up. Yeah, some of these are kind of tough to decide, like, you know, because I'm going for dark and 3D. And a lot of 3D artwork, obviously, is bright and airy. But for instance, here's a couple shots. Like, we have this, this 3D guy here. And this darker one here, this does take a while, uh, just to give you a heads up, but the juice is worth the squeeze. So like this one's dark, but it's just too bright for me. So I'm going to skip. Yes, yeah, so that process took about a, uh, close to an hour. Um, it does take a while, but here's the last photo. You can see here, 99 of 200. We have a couple creepy photos. Uh, let's see. They're both pretty freaky. We'll go with this one. And now it unlocks this profile. Now we could try it out or continue teaching. This one I'm gonna hit try out. Basically, you can create it using this profile code, but when you hit try out, it's gonna automatically load it here as profile seven, but I wanna rename that. So basically, I'm gonna go here and we're gonna rename this one we just made. And I'm just gonna call it like dark 3D or something like that, because basically, you know, I was, I was liking the really nice 3D images and then also these really dark twisted ones. So I never seen match. But anyways, we're going to call this one dark 3D. And I, I just want to show you too, like this stickered one, I had trained it a little bit over 200 images, 206. And what's cool is you can keep training models. So actually, we'll go back into this and I can kind of show you the vibe I was going with sticky weird. Um, let's open this up. This might take a little while to find one, but I'm just going to skip here. Skip here, skip. You get the idea. This one's close, but I was going more for that muted dystopian vibe, and that it's almost there, but not quite. So keep going. This is close here, but it's a little bit almost bleach bypass on that. Um, let's keep skipping. Something like this. This is kind of that vibe. See where it's a little like, you know, extremely low contrast and something like this. So 
I'm just going to click that one too. Anyways, you get the point. I'm going to go back out. I'm going to back out of this. So that was that sticky weird look. And this was this dark 3D look we just made. Now to show you how this, how all these different profiles work, we're going to use the same exact prompt and we're just going to change literally the profile and you'll see the difference that they create. All right, so I'm going to do a prompt like this. I'm just going to copy and paste uh, one that I wrote out. So basically I just want to do a 3D render because I was kind of driving that last one with 3D render. You know, I'm just going to infer it here and then I'll infer it through the rest of my profiles. Obviously they're all going to make 3D render looking images because I'm asking for it, but we'll see how each one looks. So basically we'll just, we'll just read this together here. 3D render of a dystopian hacker's den, dark and gritty environment, exposed wiring and pipes, broken ceiling tiles and crumbling walls, flickering neon lights, old computer monitors stacked haphazardly, scattered wires across grimy floors, walls covered in peeling paint and digital graffiti, cracked windows, glowing screen, casting eerie light, mixture of futuristic tech and scavenger junk, cinematic lighting, moody atmosphere, Blade Runner meets Requiem for a Dream, ultra detailed, high contrast. So actually I'm going to, I'm going to drop high contrast and I just want to show you how all these look based on the profile. And I don't want to infer the contrast because some I built without contrast as we saw in sticky weird. But anyway, so we're going to, we're going to start with this one, make sure we're 16 by nine with the version seven, the profile will do dark 3d first, see what it gives us here. Now I'm going to do that same exact thing which if you just hit up on your keyboard, it'll repopulate your last, uh, your last prompt, but I'm going to get rid of the profile because I'm going to switch it. So I'm going to switch this to sticky weird. All right. We'll run one with sticky weird and I'm going to run this one more time with my, Oh, whoops. This actually combined them. It can. So what's cool is you can actually combine, uh, profiles. It combined the dark 3d and sticky weird. So I'm just going to copy and paste, come over here, unclick dark, dark 3d. Cause you can, you can click multiples of these, but I'm just going to click sticky weird, run that and I'll do one more and I'll run it from my global profile and we can take a look at the three of them. All right, let's start at dark 3d. This is the one that I created earlier. Pretty similar. I feel to my sticky weird. All right, here's the sticky weird. See, it's just a little bit more muted, right? They are very similar, but kind of like that muted look I was talking about that I was kind of going for with that profile. You know, definitely low contrast, low saturation. And it was pretty similar to the uh, to the dark 3D, but the dark 3D, as you can see, is a little bit more contrast, a little bit more saturation. Because I was kind of building them with that same dark vibe to them. But then let's look at my global profile. This was the first one I trained when I first got V7. And I think I was just on like a neon tip because everything that pumps out of this is pretty over the top with neon, very high contrast, uh, very saturated, crisp images. So these are the, and you know, and these are all the same prompts, right? But they all have that, their own look to them. So yeah, as you can see, my, my global profile, the first one I made was definitely more of that high contrast. What I thought was, I guess, beautiful at that time, um, depending on what I was choosing. So that's kind of how that breaks down. You know, I'm going to probably work with the sticky weird one for, for a little bit more. I really do like this one. The one we made earlier, it's not too bad. I think we get some cool stuff out of that. But again, if you like have a project in mind and you like have this look you're going for in your head, you know, you're kind of seeing, um, a certain look, you can find that look typically in mid journey under this personalization, it just might take you a long time to find it. And once you find that image, you like it, you like it, but there's going to be a lot of skipping to find those images. Um, so it's a cool way to build a look. I'm going to try these out, build some things. I have a idea for a short film that actually has to do this hacker den. So that's where that prompt came from. Um, hopefully you guys got some, uh, got some value from this and see what's possible with, uh, with mid journey, especially in V7. I use V7. I also still use 6.1 and it's what I teach in my course is 6.1. And then I do touch on V7 a little later in the course as like an updater. But the reason why I use 6.1 is for character consistency, but that's for a different, that's for a different time. But that wraps up this one. So yeah, go ahead and try it out. We'll see you next time.